This Mountaineer Report from the NCAA Tournament is brought to you by Premier Energy. Our people make the difference. And we welcome you to Boston, everyone, as West Virginia is getting ready to tune up for tomorrow's game against the number one seed Wildcats of Villanova. Along with Jay Jacobs, I'm Tony Caridi. Yes, it's been a while since the two teams have played. Both have been very successful over the last several seasons. And Jay, this is no new area for WVU. They're back in the Sweet 16. You can get the sense here that these guys are feeling comfortable about where they are. Oh, I think they're very confident coming out of San Diego where they won both those games. They've been to the Sweet 16, Tony, three out of the four years that they've been the last four years, so very, very good. Villanova, on the other hand, has six players in double figures, so it's going to be a hard guard for West Virginia. No mistakes, and West Virginia cannot get off to a poor start shooting because this team will just grill you with threes. They're very good in transition, and they score the basketball. So right now, West Virginia, as you said, getting ready, but there will be a big game tomorrow night. All right, the ultimate challenge for the Mountaineers and head coach Bob Huggins and the rest of the Mountaineers meeting the media today to talk more about this matchup. Um, how have you prepared uh, going against uh, Villanova? You know, pretty much like we do everybody else. You know, study some film, try to figure out some tendencies, um, try to figure out how you can score. Just pretty much the same thing we do for everybody else. We don't change that much. You know, we, we try to look and see if there's something we can take advantage of or something that they can take advantage of, and then we'll try to work with that. But the basic core of what we do, we don't change. And so the scene is now set here in Boston. Will West Virginia's pressure bother Villanova? Let's face it, it's going to have to. Uh, if this team, Villanova, is allowed to shoot the ball like they have in the first two games, it's going to be a long night for the Mountaineers. Well, I think the big matchup in this one is going to be Jalen Brunson and J.C. Carter because those two guys really have been. Carter's had the uh, last two games has been terrific. He's held John Elmore and Jonathan Stark really down, but he's also had the good offense, averaging 24-plus a game in the two games out in San Diego. So right now, very good. They're all feeling good about themselves. They have a lot of confidence, and they're ready to play. All right, tip-off just a little before 7.30. Tomorrow night, our pregame coverage on MSN Radio begins at 6.30. We invite you to join us. Along with Jay Jacobs, I'm Tony Caridi from here in Boston on WVUSports.com. This Mountaineer report from the NCAA tournament has been brought to you by Premier Energy. Our people make the difference.